What's up ghouls and gals, here's a look at the Incendium Fig Biz, Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer, Entertainment Earth Exclusive Blood Splatter Variant. This is a 5 inch scale action figure meant to be a throwback to those good old 90's figures. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. You can see it's uh, really in that 90's style. Um, what's interesting about this Entertainment Earth exclusive is it's not actually available on Enter Entertainment Earth. And I got it at Big Bad Toy Store. Weird. But um, check that out. Check out that Fig Biz logo. Straight up throwback to Toy Biz. Really cool. Uh, weird thing about this though. If you look on the back, this bio is not Death Dealer. I don't know who it is who this demonic seductress that they're referring to is. Um, so that's a little weird. But um, other than that, just really cool. You know, the whole 90s Toy Biz style of the packaging. Really cool artwork. Uh, let's go ahead and crack this guy open and take a closer look. Let's take a 360 look at this figure. That blood splatter actually looks really nice um and i'm not typically crazy about stuff like a blood splatter variant of a figure but for a death dealer i think it totally works uh the rest of the paint apps on this figure actually looks really good especially in these armor parts some nice detailing Really, really good paint apps actually, surprised. So while this is a retro style figure, uh, it actually has a lot of more updated articulation than a straight up 90s figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. There's, there's quite a range of motion in the head or neck. As you can see, uh, arms. They can't go up very much because of the, the armor parts and they are on there really good. They do not give very much. Um, so that's all you're going to get, but you can spin those all the way around and then at the elbows. And they actually swivel as well. No wrist or, or bicep. There is waist. And now with the legs, I was surprised. There's actually double knee joints. I was not expecting that. Um, and it looks like there's a swivel and the legs would come out further. But this skirt piece, there is no give on that. And it's, it's while it's, it's kind of rubbery, um, it's really stiff. Really stiff. So there is just no give there. So you're not going to get a good wide stance on this figure uh, or really even make use of of that articulation there. No ankle. Um, there are some holes for, for pegs on the feet. Accessories include his signature axe, which has some nice painted details in the blood splatter as well. I think that adds a nice touch to it. Uh, also, his sword blood on that as well and also nice paint apps um the sword does come with a sheath which is weird because the sword can't actually go into the sheath um now i don't know if it's just mine is defective i don't know if this is actually hollow and there's just some excess plastic blocking the entry I have to check um, but as far as I can tell it, it cannot get it in there so that's a, that's that's a shame um, it does have a peg there I think uh, it pegs into his belt um, but again just that's a damn shame that it's not a, a working sheath uh, also shield blood splatter on that as well it's a nice sculpted detail nice paint apps also handle right there um also his cape which is weird 
uh, it doesn't actually peg in. It just kind of rests on his shoulders. So that's kind of a, a minus point right there. Um, and then last but not least, he actually comes with a display stand, the FigBiz logo on it. He does stand exactly five inches tall. Here he is next to an actual 90s figure. So while he is meant to be a retro, you know, throwback to the 90s figures, he does have a modernized look, even though by 2022 standards, you know, his, his articulate, his sculpt is actually fairly well. Um, but articulation would still be lacking by 2022 standards. Um, but it still does not look as basic as an actual 90s figure. And here's another one just for a quick comparison. And this, you know, this, this is really like 90s proportions. You know, it's a little just <laughs> not as realistic. Whereas this, you know, he's slimmer. So he's got a little more realistic proportions on him. So here he is holding his signature axe and shield. I'm trying to kind of recreate that artwork, which if I'm not mistaken, 1973, uh, the artwork used for this Death Dealer comic is the original painting that Frazetta did of Death Dealer. Of course, there was many more to come, but I believe this was the original painting. So all in all, it's a pretty cool figure. Is it $35 cool? Not really. Um, I still like it though. There's just something about it. Uh, there's, there's a few issues though, like, like the sheath. Can't even put the sword in it. Um, the cape, again, it just, it doesn't peg in. I almost might want to glue that just so that it stays. Um, I still, I, I really like the look of it though. You know, there's, there's a, even though he's got modern sculpt and paint apps, um, there's a certain charm to that, you know, that 90s style is, there's just still something about them in 2022 that's more basic. Um, I really like the blood splatter. Uh, I don't see myself needing the regular version of this, but I am looking forward to some other fig biz figures. Um, it's death dealer though he still looks pretty damn cool again you know i think it's overpriced for what it is let's get that cape on i think it's overpriced for what it is but i like it i just i still like it i really like it um so yeah i think i will be getting some other fig biz figures uh, there's, there's issues with this that I don't know if they're going to be, you know, the same, probably won't be the exact same issues with other figures, especially like with this skirt, the cape, you know, these are things that might be unique to this figure. The, the, the sheath, that's a pretty big issue. That's probably the, the biggest issue here, having a sheath that you can't put the, put the sword in, you know, um, but still, I think it looks pretty damn cool. Death Dealer is just so badass. Uh, and I think this is a cool kind of 90s retro 5-inch version of the character. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and thanks so much for watching.